Marhaban Bikum. Now, we'll be working now on page 41 to explain the new area of grammar. Grammar? Now, don't panic. It's easy, inshallah. God willing. We make it easy. And it's called Al Idofa, the genitive of possession. So far, you, you know how to say my, my book, uh, your book, and his book, her book. That's also possessive construction. But now we're going to use two nouns. The first one belongs to the second noun. So in, in English, you say uh, the teacher's book. In Arabic, it sounds like the book of the teacher. The book of the teacher. Let's um, illustrate this. Kitab. Kitab. That's a book. Muallim. A teacher. Muallim. Now, the book belongs to a teacher. Teacher's book. In Arabic, it's a uh, book of a teacher. Book belongs to a teacher. Now, each of these now, we need to understand rules governing them so that you can use it properly and correctly. Kitab. When I say the teacher's book, that's kitab, that book, it's not any book. It's not, not any longer any book. It's a book belongs to a teacher. So it's defined, meaning a specific book we're talking about here. Not any book, not my book, not your book, not his book, not library's book. It's a book belongs to a teacher. So in this construction, the first noun is been defined by nature by it existing now is defined now so therefore what's the implication of that the implication is you are not allowed to attach l to the first noun because it's already been defined and the l means the another definition so you cannot define a noun twice so the first part cannot uh, have l before it equally you cannot put here the last letter of it uh, two domma un or two kesra in or two fatha an because those symbols they are indicating that something is not defined indefinite now so two rules governing this the first now which belongs to another one so no l no no nation, no double uh, uh, haraka or vow, no un, no in, no an. But as may be as may be necessary, it can have u, which is your default. If there's nothing happening before it as it is now, you put default, which is u. If there is a, a, an outside force working or something before it which is um, forcing us to change that default if necessary if we have to change it to kesra then it can only have one if it's necessary that we have to put fatha then it can only have a so therefore the first part of these two nouns which is, this one is called mudof so i'm going to put the name in arabic here so it's called mudof which i'm going to right for you here so mudof uh mu, mudof mudof meaning a noun which has been attributed to something else to something or to somebody so mudof that's the first part of this what we call idofa construction the genitive of possession. The rules governing it, as I said, no L, 
no nonation, it may have o as a default or e if necessary or a if necessary. Okay? The second rules governing this construction is nothing can be put in between them. They have to be absolutely next to each other. You cannot insert another thing, even anything at all. No noun, no adjective, nothing. You cannot insert anything here. Right, let's move to the second noun. The second noun, a teacher's book, meaning a book belongs to a teacher. The second noun doesn't come automatically defined. So therefore, you may choose to define it if you wish, if what you want to say requires that. But what's the case ending will be? What's haraka? The haraka, if that's the second noun, if it's singular, it has to be two kesra. You cannot put u, no u, or un, or an, or a, on the last letter of the second noun. It has to be genitive. Hence, we have genitive. Genitive, in this case, the sign will be to kesra. If it's not defined, as it is now. So it becomes kitabu mu'allimin. As I mentioned, that it doesn't come defined. And you want to say a book belongs to the teacher. The teacher that you and I are uh, 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 familiar with. So you define it. You will say, Kitabu, Kitabu Al, Kitabu Al Muallim. And because, excuse me, and because you define it already now, you have now defined the second noun as, as your choice, you cannot have double Kesra anymore because double Kesra indicating that. A noun is not defined. So therefore, you, re you reduce it into a single kesra. becomes now kitabul muallimi. If it's not defined, as I said before, you become, you just say kitabu, kitabu, uh, kitabul muallim. Let's, this one here. Kitabu muallimin. Muallimin. Because it's not defined. So a book belongs to a teacher. Here, a book belongs to the teacher. That's what we call the genitive of possession. Or al idhafa al idhafa construction. So go to page, page 41. It's explained for you there, and if there is exercise 36 that you need to do, please, to make sure to confirm your understanding of uh, the idafa uh, or the genitive of possession. Right, let's have a look at this now, and uh, to confirm what I have just explained regarding the, the genitive of possession. Uh, Zawjatul Khabazi. Zawjatu, that's the wife. And then Al Khabazi, baker's. So the baker's wife, meaning wife belongs to the baker. Look at this now, you have a single default vowel. Dhamma, Zawjatu. So Zawjatul, this one is defined. And is ending in a single kesra. Al Khabazi. Zawjatul Khabazi. Ibn Tabibi. The Kiyun. The doctor's son. Ibn, his son, belongs to the doctor. Because the Tabib here is defined, so we have kesra. And then we have the predicate, the Kiyun. Is clever. Ibn Tabibi, the Kiyun. Qalamu pen, that belongs to the student, the student's pen in English, ala tawilati, is on the table. Now, this preposition also 
uh, imposes this kesra on the noun after it as well. That's that's genitive as well. Genitive of the by in, in terms of the uh, um, the um, the ala or fi, which is your preposition. Qalamu talibi ala tawla. So a tawla here is kesra because of preposition, but talibi is kesra because of idafa construction or genitive of possession. Next, adhabu ila maktabati jamiati. I am going. Remember, adhabu ila maktabati. Maktabati here it is kesra because of a uh, ila, it is your uh, enforcing this to be to be kesra. Maktabat uh, al-jami ati al-jami ati is a descript is uh, is the second noun of idafa. Maktabati al-jami. Library belongs to the university. So, azhabu ila maktabati al-jami ati. The position here and the preposition here. Ila maktabati preposition making it to become kesra. As I said before, the first noun of idafa construction can be kesra if necessary. Here it is necessary. Ila because it's already been defined by attributing it to the university, it cannot have two kesra. Al jamiat is always genitive. Is genitive kesra here because it's a defined noun. If there is no alif wa lam there, it will be ila maktabati jami'atin. And because we say the university, we can only use one kesra. Okay, so library, the library of the university. Yazhabu tariq ila maktabil mudiri. Again, the same principle. You have preposition ila. You know, forcing us to put kesra here, and because he said define, because he's been uh, attributed to the head, um, the, the mudi, which is headmaster or head teachers or director, um, is is uh, is defined now, and we have one kesra. Al mudir is also defined with al, so one kesra. Yazhabu tariq ila maktabi al mudir. So please go to the. A book page 41 42 to do the exercises uh, uh, which relate to the genity of possession. Uh, more related um, uh, vocabulary to um, idafa construction or the genity for possession. Uh, we're going to give you a series of um, uh, vocab and then put it into sentences, inshallah. Right, let's quickly go through this, uh, reading practice as well. Uh, armalatun, a widow. Armalun, a widower. Ala, on. Ila, to. Fi, in. Alayhi, on it. Referring to something which is masculine. Ilayhi, to it. Also referring to item or something which, become, which is uh, masculine. Fihi in it again. It here is, is masculine. Madinatun a town or city. Ailatun family. Jinsiyatun nationality. Wiladatun birth. Baladun a country. Makanun a place. Iqamatun residence. Haliyun, current, present. Halatun, status or condition. Mutallakatun, divorced. Now let's let's put the uh, previous vocab into some phrases or sentence now. Ismu a'ilati al-mansur. A'ilatun before it was a um, family. Ismu a'ilati, that means name of my family, is Al-Mansur, that's a surname uh, in English. My surname is Al-Mansur, meaning the name of my family. That's how it sounds in Arabic. Ya Adam, O Adam, 
Aina makano wila datika. Adam, where is your place of birth? Now, aina is where. Makano is place. Place of, that's your idafa construction or genitive for possession. Hence, you have the first noun has dhamma. The second noun ending in kasra. This is the end of the second noun. Wiladatun becomes wiladati and then ka as your. So, Adam, where is your place of birth? Aina makano wiladati ka. Masmu a'ilati ki, ya Fatima, o Fatima, as a female. Masmu, ma is what? Ismu, name, as phrase, na, uh, the first name or noun of this Yudofa construction. Name of the family, yours. A'ilati, as Kesra, at the end of the second um, noun of the Yudofa construction. And then ki, this is person you are speaking to, that is your pronoun, domir uh, mutasil. So, masmu a'ilati ki, ya fatima. Ma baladu wiladati hi, what is his country of birth? Ma baladu wiladati hi, that he, that's the attached pronoun, um, it is usually kitabu hu, mu'allimu hu. Because we have kesra here, the pronoun itself will get a kesra. We change to kesra. Ma baladu wila dati hi. You cannot say wila dati hu. Okay? So, ma baladu wila dati hi. Masmu madinati wila dati ha. What's the name of her birth or of her birth town? Uh, ismu, ma is what? Ismu name, Medina, the town or city. So city of or, or town of Wiladati her, her birth. Ma, masmu, Madinati, Wiladati her. Uh, ismu a'ilati al-mansur, ya Adam, aina makana Wiladatika, masmu a'ilatiki, ya Fatima, ma baladu Wiladatihi, masmu Madinati. Wila dati ha. So I can, if you ask me the same question, for instance, if you say, ah, masmuka, I will say, ismi Imran. Right, ismi Dr. Imran. Ismi Imran. My name is Imran. You can say, masmu ailati ka. What's your surname? I will say, my surname is Alawiye. Alawiye. Ala Imran, Ala Wiye. Then you can say, Ma Baladu Wila Dati Ka. What's the, your country of birth? I will say, uh, Baladu uh, Wila Dati or Ismu uh, Baladi Wila Dati Nigeria. Ana mean Nigeria. Ah, uh, you can say, Masmu Madinati. Wila dati ka. What's, what's the name of your birth town? Your hometown? Your home city? I can say Ismu Madinat Wila dati Oboma Sho Oboma Sho Fi Gharb Fi Gharb Nigeria Fi Gharb Nigeria And then you say Fi Gharb London I've been living, living in London for so long, more than the 33, 34 years. So, um, Massimo Medinati Wiladatika, I would say Ismu Medinati Wiladati Ogbomosho. So, Ismi Amran, Ismu Ailati, Alawiye, Balat Wiladati, Nigeria, Medinat Wiladati Ogbomosho. Nigeria. So I hope you can use this as well to introduce yourself and uh, please do write to me in Arabic. Why not? All right then. Uh, good luck. Please go to page uh, 42 and 40, 43. So we're going to display more 
uh, usage for the vocabulary that you have learned. Right, this is your last item on this topic of idhofa construction or uh, genitive or possession. Um, here, just give you a clue of filling out a form, uh, usual questions. Al ism, name, ismul ailati, surname, al jinsiya, al jinsiya to nationality, baladul wiladati, country of birth. Medina to Luwilada, town of birth or city of birth, Makadul uh, Iqamatil Haliyu, the current place of residence, Al Halatu Zawjiya, marital status, Al Wadifatu, occupation. So, just so if you see this in some form, when you are you know, heading towards the Middle East or Cairo or wherever it may be, so you may notice this. Uh, element and it's um, uh, fully is it's, it's there for you on page 43 and 44 45 46 the whole lot is there and um, and, and all the exercises as well please 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 do your exercise the exercises are really 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 important to confirm and to establish a firm grip on the on the on, on 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 this on this topic because inshallah once we finish this book there will be all the items coming inshallah uh, we have oh gateway to arabic book three book four book five book six book seven and so many other uh projects that i have for you to make sure that together inshallah you will get there and you'll be fluent in arabic inshallah god willing so good luck. So please do your exercise for me. So far, the exercise that you have to do is all, 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 all the way to exercise 40, 42 on page 50. So we are now on page 50 and 51. So next time I see you, we will start slightly new topic as well, which has relation to uh, a verb. So good luck. Ma'asalama. في أمان الله إلى اللقاء